All right, all right. Welcome back. Uh, we're back with uh, another episode of the Crawl USA mini podcast. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about brand ambassadors. That's a that's a controversial subject. <laughs> So this year, right, we learned about brand ambassadors. Uh, something we had not done in the past. Don't think we knew much about it at all. And I'll start with my perception of brand ambassadors. This, this is crazy talk apparently, but I thought you had a clean Jeep, you wheeled, you put their stickers on and they came to you and said, wow. And maybe in the big boy areas they do, right? Like, I don't know, like winning races and things like that, of course, yeah, they'll come to you. Uh, but on the small level, small platform of this. It's a lot of hawk to a... <laughs> they don't come to you. Uh, maybe, maybe if you know some people and some things like that, it's of course like anything um, but I found out that that's not how it works basically you can reach out to them and go to their website and look at their information right they have information on how to be an ambassador or get sponsored through these companies and they have a, a application uh, to do it, they have a time frame to do it in, right? All these different things, which is pretty cool and, you know, pretty, I don't know, pretty pretty good, I guess. Um, you know, and it's it's been great. We're working with a couple different ones. Some of, uh, you know, we're working, I don't know about against each other, but we have different yeah, we're in different programs. Different programs, yeah, that's a good way to say it. And I think, you know, that's there's a distinction, right? I mean, the, the topic is, is brand ambassadors, but then there's also the various programs, right, that different companies have. So that those are the two sides of the coin, right? Yeah, so, um, so I think that's the first thing that I've learned about these programs is that, look, reach out. If you're interested in wanting to do it, you know, some of them have a proposal um, that you got to put together, submit to them during their application time, and go from there. That's really what I learned. Like I said, I'm an idiot and thought, "Hey, we like we like the cut of your jib. Come talk to us." And that is not the case at all. Or I'm not flopping enough, or other things to get that kind of attention. Um, once you you get your breast implants, I think you're going to be doing a lot better. Oh, man, with those programs. I'm sorry, that was a callous thing to say. It's very personal, I shouldn't have brought that up. Um, well, you know, and, and not all the programs are the same. That's one thing we've learned is uh, there's a lot of, a lot of different angles, right? Um, you know, some are, frankly, I think just a way to sell product, right? Um, you know, you're, you're the ambassador, here's your discount, and you know, here's this, here's the stuff you're gonna buy, what are you gonna buy? Um, and then there, you know, there, there's a range. So, and you know, it goes from that to being really um, significant discount with not a lot of demand, you know, on, on the, on your part, um, you know, those are, those are great. Um, you know, some of them are really well organized, well structured. Regimen, right? I'm right. Very clearly laid out rules. You know, so the expectations for what both sides are bringing to the table are very clear. Others, it's like crickets, right? There's, you know, it's really loosey goosey and. Nobody knows what anybody's doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I think we have a, a mix with the, with the handful that we have. But um, you know, overall, I think it's it's a little early. I mean, 
I think um, it's it's hard to tell after one season. Maybe you know there might be a couple that I'll try to continue with, and a couple that I won't. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I I think the the couple that I have, I'll. I mean, one of them, I'm definitely going to try to continue to be with them, whatever it takes, right? Um, because their their program is <clears throat> pretty significant for what we do. Um, yeah, I mean, that, and that's that's really an important thing, right? Is it something that really helps you, right? Because that that you know that feels good, right? You you're getting a, a very uh, tangible benefit from it, you know, and so you want to work hard to, you know, promote it. And when it's a product that you would promote, irrespective of right. sponsorship, Regardless. yeah, um, then it, you know, that definitely doesn't leave a, a bad taste in your mouth. Right, and I think you know the other one I'm with. I think pretty happy with the way it's going. It was kind of a shaky start, not on their part, but on mine. Uh, but I've, I really like the direction that it's gone now and I think it offers some different benefits than some other ones and more of a long-term benefit with what I do. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that and, you know, I, I'm interested to see what year two is going to bring on if there really is an application and a proposal again or if it's like you did the past year do you want to continue type of thing? Um, so we'll see about that. That'll be pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I have on here is if you were in charge of one of these programs, would you do anything different from what you've seen between our two, maybe? Um, I mean, the two that we're in that are in direct competition? Um, I don't know about that, but if you were running the program. Um, yeah, I mean, like I mentioned before, the ones that are really clear, well organized, and, and very clear expectations, um, it'd be easier if they were all like that. Okay. You know, so that's one thing. Yeah, I think, I, sure. I, I don't know about yours. Is yours very clear, the one we're competing against, if you will? Is that one very clear, laid out, and what mm -hmm. you need to do? Oh, okay. So is mine. Mine's yeah, very... Crystal clear. It like has a... Like a a guide but do they like a booklet do they come and look I guess because like mine is based off if you do this you get this right yeah mine um, that it's in competition with yours is a little different I have to submit right like every month here's here's what I did to hold up my end of the bargain and then with that um, I get credit for that work. Oh, okay, okay. So I have to do mine. Mine's either weekly, bi-weekly, and then they throw out a big challenge monthly or every two months or something like that. But mine's like, I have to do it weekly if I want to get the benefit of it, which, I mean, I'm fine with it. I mean, for me it helps because it just gives me a schedule. I'm like, all right, I'm on schedule. You know, and then I have another one that's, you know, very casual you know so it's at this point neither good nor bad um, and then another one that's just really like I said it's I think um, for some of these these brands it's like you know here's a discount code and you know you buy their stuff it's just you know I don't know if you could you know sometimes it feels like you could just call them on the phone and Ask for it and ask for the discount and probably get the same and not have to, you know. There's there's no interaction. There's no back and forth. Um, you know. So yeah, which is crazy. My my best one is very loose like that. It's crazy. Like I don't have to do. Like there's no set schedule. And luckily, I just use their product. We love their product, and you know, it's it's been great. But it's it's been pretty wild like that and you know I get it like I mean they have people that they're paying to run these programs but you know we're small fish 
right? Compared to these people that are winning real races and, you know, doing that kind of stuff. And even, even like the, the We Rock stuff, right? Those guys are on the next level using their products and have their vehicles wrapped and different things like that. Um, you know, so it, it's different. I get it. Um, <clears throat> is there a brand you would like to be partnered with? Yeah. You want to say it? No. I'm not naming names. No. Um, I think, you know, we'll keep it general. You know, I, I've, I've had um, some that just went south, you know, right from the get-go. You know, where you're just like, oh, this is, this isn't good. I don't want to do this. You know, this is like crazy like you know like you're basically paying them mm. to be an ambassador for mm. you know yeah yeah really, i know what you're saying really weird, right and then um but um there is a brand that you're associated with that i would also like to be associated with because like you said it's a it's a real leg up it really helps yeah you know what we're doing but you know i mean there are a lot of brands that you know that I I really like and and I promote them without anything in return just because I run their stuff I believe in it um, to me that's more important you know than um, being sponsored by them being sponsored by them would be great but you know what really makes a difference is when you can pick up the phone and talk to somebody and um, like, you know, get really good customer service, really good technical help. Um, yeah, and when the owner calls you and starts working out the problem with you. Yeah, I mean, once you get beyond, you know, bolt-on parts and you're having to fabricate and customize and, you know, you're doing, like, the stuff that we just did for the last three months, it's one-off stuff. Like, there's no reference for it. You know, even even the vendors are scratching their head, but yeah. they're they're trying to help. They're giving you feedback, and you know that makes a huge difference. Um, you know, and honestly, having a, a a sponsor for axles, you know, I'm not racing ultra four. I don't. I'm not breaking axles every other. Week. Right. Um, so it's nice to just have a solid product that, you know, um, you're pleasantly surprised when, you know, the owner of a company calls you on the phone at night and, and talks to you. And, you know, there's a handful of, I would say most of the vendors that, um, we got stuff for this last phase of this bill were like that, you know, and I don't mind naming names when it comes to superior product and customer service, right? Fusion, 4x4, um, Dan's great, um, Don at RPM Steering, great. I mean, the guys, you know, reach out on a weekend and answer your question, you know, just totally unexpected stuff. Um, on, on crazy things, right? We're, we're yeah. asking him how to line up this tower. Yeah. And he's done it on the vehicle. And he says, look, this is where it's going to line up. This is how it has to go. Yeah. And we're like, okay, that, great. Right. That helped us. Right. We're talking inches, less than inches maybe. Yeah. Right. And how much, where we can put things and him to reach out was really great. Really solved a couple questions for us. Yeah, Motor Built's another company like that, right? Where you're gonna get a call back, you know, they're gonna they're gonna help you. And if you if you see them at an event or you know, you you call them on the phone, you know, they're gonna somebody's gonna get back to you. Somebody's gonna come in off the shop floor and dial your number and and you know give you that technical help that you need. So, yeah, and talk to you, which is you know, great. So like I said, that's, to me, that's 
that's just as valuable. If you, if someone was just getting into this, kind of like we were, at the beginning of the year, um, is there any advice you would give to anybody looking at doing these things? What, do you have a dentist going on? What's a little teeth drilling? I think that's the compressor out of the garage. Oh, really? Oh, okay. There. Look, we need air on demand. It it's makes all, sense. It's all, so always something. Um, advice. Um, well, yeah, make sure that you have uh, some room in your in your plans for whatever product it is that you plan to um, endorse because um, you know there's there's going to be some cash outlay right there um, in most cases they're not giving the stuff away so you get a discount but you know if um, if if you're if you're going after a company and, and you already have all the stuff that they sell, you already have it all, right? You can make content off that, but if if you have it, an investment in another brand, you know, are you gonna swap out all your stuff? Um, if your stuff's welded on, then there's a significant amount of work involved too in, in, in changing out those parts. And, you know, there's a lot, that's a lot to go through just for, um, you know, the, I guess the advice should be, it should be a symbiotic relationship, right? You, you should be getting something out of it and they should be getting something out of it. That's, that's what will make it work. You know, when it's one-sided where all you get is a discount code and some hashtags and you need to buy a bunch of stuff, um, you know, unless it's stuff you really need and the discount's deep, you know, maybe not worth jumping through the hoops. But, um, you know, I don't know, like I said, it's early um, with, you know, th only three or four under my belt, you know, and only two of those that are active, three that are active. Um, it's, it's too early to say that I would do it again. Or not, you know. I think by this time next year, I'm kind of on the fence, but I might be done with it or done with certain ones. Um, just uh, you know, know what you're getting into. It might be more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, I think I think that would be my advice. Like, don't go for just the easy ones that they're just handing it out right away, unless that's what you really want. Right, like if you want, you know, a certain, I don't know, I'll, I'll just say, you know, a certain brand or something and they're, they've made it really easy, great, go with it. Um, but there may be a better quality or something like that, that you could look into instead of just jumping on the first one that you, you see. And we've seen people do that and then, have, and then lay out their Jeeps with these brand logos and then have to change because they went with a better quality, I'd say, or better sponsorship or whatever it is. Um, and I mean, I get you get into it, I guess, that way and can say that you have done that. But I think seeing it from this side a little bit now is, <clears throat> you know, if it's something, like you said, if it's something you want and you like, go for that. You know, don't just jump on the easiest one. And then especially commit to a whole graphics program to it and then have to end up redoing that. You know, it's just kind of crazy. But, you know, I think that that'd be my advice for it. Um, buyer beware. Buyer beware. Um, you know, and it's got to go both ways, right? I think that's important. Enough, enough that you're just not spending money to say you use their name that's crazy yeah and I, and I don't mean to knock it because there are some very good programs too you know um, but the ones that are you know geared really kind of at the 
accessory level, you know, kind of cheap stuff and yeah, um, skin fluencer kind of accounts. Yeah, right. I mean, if you need, you know, cup holder and air freshener and stuff, and right, great, you know, and a flag with mm -hmm. the brand on it, you know. Yeah, but uh, you know, and as you as you evolve, you'll see, you know, the the products that you're going to use. That's the one to look into, I think, right? And look, you can change. It's okay. I mean, I guess not the weld on parts. That makes it a lot more difficult. But you know, I've I've changed some things already, um, and still working on moving over, transitioning, if you will. Um, going through the change. Going through the big change. So um, <clears throat> you know what happens and. You know, it's just kind of how things work out and look at it that way. So, uh, all right, good. Anything else to add to brand ambassadors? No, I don't think so. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. See what you can find and... Best wishes to everyone yeah. involved. And it's okay if you have different things than the person across from you. So, all right, that's what we have. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Don't be a brand whore. Did I say that out loud? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like having too many brands or just... Man, I feel like I'm going down the <laughs> avenue of being a brand whore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, I'm not sure what the... No, by that I mean, I, you said something that made me think of that. You know, there are different ways to skin a cat, right? Um, you know, you have uh, a lot of alternate brands that have very good quality stuff too. You know, it doesn't have to be. We don't all have to wear the same underwear, you know? Or the same drive shafts. Exactly. Right? So right don't get me started there then you know I mean I think the big thing is they're both quality products they both have great customer right. service and honestly I think for me it was just luck of the draw that I and I'm not sponsored or ambassador within with them uh, I just like the product you know if they want to reach out sure I'll post them more than I already do but you know they're they're both great products so it can happen yeah support the brands that treat you right yeah so. Yeah. All right, that's what we got. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time out on the trail. Adios.